Hey everybody, welcome to 90 Baseball Talk. Today I'm doing my predictions for the 2018 season. Kind of give you guys a rundown of what I think will happen when it comes to standings, who's going to make the playoffs, and who's not. So, right off the bat, we're going to go with the division that was really the easiest for me to pick. Um, just looking at the transactions this offseason, I kind of knew who I was going to pick for this order. All the rest of the divisions, I had troubles, but this one was pretty easy. So we'll start with the AL East, and right off the bat, my number one team, as much as I hate to say it, I've got the Yankees winning the, the East, and I've got them winning it by probably five games. It won't be a huge lead, come down to the last week or so, but I think the Yankees are just the better team in the East. I've got the Red Sox coming in second. They did win the division last year, so I'll give them the respect they deserve, but I don't think they match up with the Yankees this year. I've got the Orioles coming in third. No real reason other than the fact that I think the other two teams in the division that are left just got worse in the offseason. I've got the Blue Jays coming in fourth and the Rays coming in fifth. And not only do I have the Rays coming in fifth, I have them competing for worst team in Major League Baseball. And I'll tell you guys who the other two teams I have competing for that spot as well. But definitely the Rays are in competition for the number one draft pick in 2019. So we'll now move to the Central. And this one I had a little more trouble with because there's some teams here that I think could step up and play better. Some teams that I don't think are going to be all that good. And in fact, I, I wrote down all my ideas a couple days ago on who I thought would take first and second. And as I look back at it each day, I changed it pretty much each time. I kept flipping between two teams winning this division. And I started off initially thinking that Cleveland would win the Central. But the more I thought about it, the more I saw kind of the moves the Twins made, I actually changed my mind. I had the Minnesota Twins winning the AL Central this season. Now, once again, it's tight. I could, I could see it going to Cleveland as well. But I've got the Twins winning it. I've got Cleveland coming in second. And I actually have them as one of the wild card spots. Um, so I do think that they're going to make the playoffs. I think the Twins just edge them out. And it's going to be a tight race. This might be the best race in baseball because of how close those two teams really are. Second, or for third place, this one was tough as well. I initially had the Royals, but then the more I looked at the Royals roster and their team, I just couldn't give it to them. So I actually have the White Sox in at third, Royals in at fourth, and then Detroit in at fifth. Now, I initially had them as one of my three teams competing for worst team in baseball, but I actually had them as fourth worst, so they're not quite in the top three for Worst team in baseball, but they're not going to be very good this year. Last year they struggled. They only had 64 wins. Be much of the same this year. They might get a couple more wins, but that's about it. The AL West. This one, this one was both easy and tough. I know the Astros are the favorite. I, I'm picking the Astros to win the West. I don't think it's going to be quite as big a margin as last year. Last year they ended up leading the Angels by 21 games. I don't think it'll be that big. I think there's going to be a little bit closer of a gap between first, second, third, and even fourth. I think there's going to be a, a good four-team race in there, a little bit more than what it was last year. But definitely, the Astros are number one. Initially, I was doing a little bit of a hometown bias, and I was picking the Mariners second. But the more I look at them, as much as I love their offense, I don't see the Mariners coming in second. I've got the Rangers coming in second. I've got the Angels coming in third. And I've dropped the Mariners to fourth place in the West. Now, maybe they'll surprise me. They've got some pitching that could step up and be a force in the West and make themselves a wild card contender. But I've got the Mariners in fourth. And rounding out the, uh, the teams for the West, i got the A's coming in fifth place. And let's be honest, the A's, I don't know if they have much to compete with. And you can say what you want about small market and all that stuff. But San Francisco's right across the bay, and they have three World Series in, what, the last nine years? So you can't say that it's the market size, and that's why they're not getting good teams. The honest truth is they're not putting good teams together. A's fifth place. Once again, Mariners in fourth. You got the Angels in third, Rangers in second, Astros. They'll win it. They'll win the West. It won't be, it won't be as easy as last year, but it'll definitely be theirs to win. Jumping to the National League, and here's another division that was kind of easy at the top, 
Um, the AL East, I've got the Nats, the Nationals winning the AL East. I got them running away with it. Not even going to be a competition. But second, third, and fourth, I had a lot of debate. I, I kept flipping teams higher and lower, higher and lower. And I finally settled on second place being the Braves. I think the Braves have a good young core. I think they'll be good this year. And my third place team might surprise some people. I've got the Phillies coming in third. And I have them neck and neck with the Braves. I almost put the Phillies in second place. But I moved them to third. That puts the Mets in at fourth and the Marlins in at fifth place. And ladies and gentlemen, that's my second team that's going to compete for worst team in all of baseball. They are just not going to be good this year. What else do you expect when you trade away a top-level outfield? Maybe the best outfield in the game, and you trade every single member of that outfield to different teams. I don't think they got enough back to really affect things. So I've got the, the Marlins coming in fifth and competing for that number one draft pick next year. Once again, Nationals coming in first. I think they run away with it. Braves and Phillies in a good fight for second and third. And I got the Mets coming in fourth. So coming down to the Central. And the Central is actually where I had the most fun and actually didn't change anything. I didn't change from my initial guess. I have not changed one bit. I still think the team that's going to win the Central is the Milwaukee Brewers. And that's, that's tough for me to say because I've got a lot of respect for the Cubs. They've got a good team. I think the Pirates are better than they were last year. Cardinals are always a, a tough win. And the Reds have some decent players. I don't think they're going to be competitive. But I got the Brewers winning this one. And I think that they're going to show some people that they can score a lot of runs. And their pitching is going to do just enough to get them to where they need to be. And obviously, like I just said, Cubs got a lot of respect for them. I got them coming in second. I think this year they'll take a wild card spot. Last year, two NL West teams took it. I don't think that's going to happen again this year. It could, though. The West is strong, but that's part of the problem. They're strong. They're going to kind of beat each other up. So I got the Cubs coming in second, taking a wild card spot. I got the Pirates. The Pittsburgh Pirates coming in third because I think they are better this year than they were last year. And that's even with trading away Garrett Cole, trading away Andrew McCutcheon. I think the team might be better. Once again, I know Garrett Cole is a great pitcher for them. I don't think he was necessarily the best fit for that team. And Andrew McCutcheon, I love him. I love watching him play, but he is not the same player. And they've got some young guys who can play the outfield and can hit. So I think, you know, yes, they lost a great leader, but they have some talent coming in. So I think they're a better team this year. And so once again, I've got Pirates in at third, Cardinals in at four. I don't think that... I just don't think the Cardinals are going to be that competitive this year. They'll win games. They always do. They're a great organization. But I think fourth place is really where they're going. Third place might be their ceiling. I don't think they get to first or second. I don't think they're that competitive this year. And that rounds out the, the fifth place team with the Cincinnati Reds, which is tough. That's my dad's favorite team. He grew up in Dayton, Ohio. But at the same time, as good as Joey Votto is, one great player does not make a playoff team, doesn't even make a winning team. So I would love to see the Reds do better. I would love to see Joey Votto be on a winning team, get in the playoffs and make a good run. But it's not going to happen this year, not going to happen next year. So this brings us to the NL West. And this, this is the division that had me just pulling my hair out because I'm seeing teams that are already competitive, didn't need to make a lot of moves this offseason. Teams that were okay last year but made some great moves this offseason. And this this division got tighter and tighter. So I've got the Dodgers winning it. I think the Dodgers win the West. They didn't make a big splashy move this offseason, but they didn't have to. If you look at their lineup, their lineup is stacked. Top to bottom, has been for a few years. Clayton Kershaw still their number one. And yes, I know that there's still some issues with their overall pitching rotation. But I think they've got enough arms to be able to handle it. I think they'll get through it just fine. As long as Kershaw stays healthy, this team is going to be dominant. They've got Seager at shortstop, Turner at third base. They've got an outfield that can hit, that can play defense. Bellinger's going to have a little bit of a drop this season. 
at the same time, he's still a gold glover at first base. You know, he's got he's got power. He has a hole in his swing. Everyone knows it. It's easy to see. But if he works on it, I think that he'll be able to be uh, really increase his average, maybe keep the home run rate going. Either way, I think the Dodgers win the West. But here's where my traffic jam hits it together. I've got three teams that I kept switching almost every time I looked at the at my, my combinations. So last year it was Diamondbacks, Rockies, Padres. And this year I, I went from doing the exact same order to Diamondback, Padres, Rockies, to Rockies, Padres, Diamondbacks, and I kept flipping them because I think the Padres have improved. I think they are a better team than they were last year. I think they'll be competitive. The Diamondbacks, I don't know if they got better. I don't think they got worse, but I don't know how they're going to play out this year. Rockies, same type of thing. I, I think they can be just as competitive or maybe even better than last year, but I could also see them falling back a few games. So I finally settled on the Rockies coming in second, Padres coming in third, Diamondbacks coming in fourth, and the Giants coming in last, and they are my pick to have the worst record in all of baseball. They're going to be competing, I think, with the Rays and the Marlins for the number one overall pick, which is sad because they have a lot of great names, you know, but that's the problem. They have names. Once you get past Buster Posey, a lot of those guys aren't who they used to be. Longoria and McCutcheon are great players in their time, but they're not what they used to be. And they can still hold their own, and they're still major league level, but not, a, not the level to get yourself into a playoff hunt, not the level to make yourself into a, a World Series contender. It's not who they are. And it's sad because, you know, there are some players on that team that I really like, People, players who I've you know, watch from the minor leagues, but the Giants are going to be just disastrous, especially in the West, where the other four teams are just going to be hammering them left and right. And, you know, you can say what you want about the Padres. I think they've gotten better, and I think they're going to compete and be in third place. And I think that if two teams from the West do get the wild card spot like they did last year, I think it's Rockies and Padres. I think the Cubs will be put a fight. I think they're going to end up taking one of those wild card spots away from the West, but it is not going to be an, an easy thing. It is going to be a great competition, great year. So with that, once again, I think the Cubs and, and Rockies take the, the wild card spots in the National League, American League. You know, I've got the Indians and probably the Red Sox. I don't think an AL West team takes it. So that's probably the best picks I have. But for my World Series picks, right now. Just looking at things on paper, it's hard not to say Astros and Dodgers in a rematch. It's hard for me not to say that because if the Twins win the Central, I don't know that they can win the American League Championship Series. They might be able to win the Division Series. I don't think they can win the Championship Series. Yankees, they've got a ton of power, and they've got some pitching, but... When you go up against the Astros, the Astros have everything. And so I got the Astros in the American League making it. National League, Brewers could surprise me. I don't think the Cubs will have it, uh, the, what they need to take on the Dodgers. And the Nationals, they, they haven't shown anything the last couple of years when they make the playoffs. So right now, as it sits, given there are still more free agents out there on the market, I've got Dodgers, Astros in a rematch that goes seven games and I would love to see the Dodgers win this year, but if I get another World Series that goes seven games and played out like last year's World Series, I'll probably be okay with it because that was a great World Series, a lot of fun. You had pitching matchups that were good. You had games where a ton of runs were scored, home runs. As a fan, I loved it. So once again, those are my picks for 2018. There are still a lot of free agents out there, so I don't know if things will end up changing in the next couple weeks. If they do, I'll post down in the comments below. But let me know who you think is going to win each division. Post in the comments below. Tell me if you think I'm stupid for some of my decisions. Do you think the Twins and Brewers were bad choices on my part? I don't think so, but do you think so? And don't forget to click subscribe down below. So that way, with all the videos we have coming out throughout the season, you know when they're there, you can check us out and watch them. Once again, I'm Josh, the 980 Know-It-All. Have a great day.